Okay, so these are the first three conditions of determining significant figures. We can look at, there are two more conditions which we can look at. Uh, so we have condition number four. And it says that all trailing zeros, we're going to look at the meaning of trailing, trailing zeros in a decimal, in a decimal number are significant. Now what I mean in this case by trailing, trailing means that you come after something that comes after another. That's what I mean when I talk about trailing. So for example, we can have numbers such as if I have 72.420 and I also have uh, 24.500 and I also have 0 0.5420700 and I'm required to find how many significant figures are there in these three numbers so I'm going to start with the first one 72.420 how many significant figures do we have already 7, 2, 4 and 2 are significant because condition 1 was telling us that every non-zero digit is significant. So already I have four significant figures. Now how about the last zero? Remember the condition 4 tells us that all trailing zeros and we say that trailing means something which comes after another. So when the zeros are at the end, they are considered to be significant. Whereas in condition 3 we, we saw that when the zeros are at the beginning, they are saying not to be significant. Whereas when the zeros are at the end, we say that those zeros are significant. So when I'm counting the number of significant figures in this case, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The zero in this case is also significant. So here I have 5 significant figures. We say SF, SFS means significant figures. I proceed to the next one, 24.500. Of course, the 2, 4, and the 5 are significant. Basic one, condition one, which was saying all non zero digits are significant. Now, how about these other two zeros? Already the condition 4 tells us all trailing zeros, in other words, all the zeros that come at the end. But that applies when you're dealing with decimal numbers. We're also going to look at an instance where it's not a decimal number. So we have 24.500. When you look at these zeros, they are at the very end. So meaning these other two zeros are also significant, based on condition 4. So when I'm counting the number of significant figures, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these are 5 significant figures. Lastly, I have this one, and I'm required to find how many significant figures do I have. Now, already 5, 4, 2, and 7 are significant, based on condition 1. Now, how about this 0? When we looked at condition 2, we say all zeros which are between any, any two non-zero digits are said to be significant. In other words, when a 0 is between two non-zero digits, that 0 is significant. So maybe this zero is significant. How about these last two zeros? These last two zeros are also significant based on the condition which we have. Then how about the zero at the start? When we go back to condition three, which was saying that all leading zeros, in other words, the zeros which are at the start, are said to be not significant. So maybe this zero is not significant. But this zero is significant, even these two other zeros are significant. So when I'm looking for the number of significant figures, I'm going to start with this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here I have 7 significant figures. So that is condition 4. Now, lastly condition 5. We have condition 5. 
and it is somewhat similar to condition 4. It says all trading zeros, all trading zeros in a number, in a number without a decimal point. Or I can decide to call that number without a decimal point to be the whole number. So all trading zeros in a whole number or a number without a decimal point are considered to be insignificant. Insignificant is the opposite of significant. So when I say insignificant, I mean not significant. So all the trading zeros in a whole number are considered to be insignificant. So what do I mean? If I have numbers, for example, this time we're dealing with whole numbers. In other words, numbers without decimal places. So if I have 42,520, then if I also have 250, and if I have 70, and lastly if I have so in all these uh, in all these numbers, I'm required to find all these are separate numbers. This is maybe one. This is two. This is three. And then this is four. So in all these four numbers, I'm required to find the number of significant figures I have in this case. Now, basing on this condition. All trading zeros, in other words, the zeros which come at the end of a whole number are said to be insignificant or not significant. So when I look at this number, I have a zero at the end. And based on this condition, this zero is not significant. This zero can only be significant if there was a decimal point here, maybe. But since this is a whole number, and we say that all trading, all trading zeros in a whole number are not significant, meaning this zero is also not significant. So the number of significant figures I have, one, two, three, and four. The zero is not significant. So here I have four significant figures. I come to Roman two, I look at the zero here, this zero is not significant, so meaning I have only two and five, those are the only significant figures. So I have only two significant figures in this case. The Roman 3, 70, the zero, since it is at the end, it is not significant. So I have only one significant figure, which is seven. Then lastly, 12,500, these two zeros, since they are at the end, they are not significant. Meaning I only have 1 to 5 as my significant numbers. Basing on condition 1, because condition was, 1 was telling us that all non-zero digits are significant. So here I have the significant figures. So we have looked at the conditions considered when we are looking at significant figures. We looked at condition 1, condition 2, condition 3, condition 4. And now condition 5, we have given the various examples. So now we are going to look at practical examples. How do you apply these conditions?